go through some of the Cura settings that we're going to use on the Creality to print with the NinjaFlex TPU. All right, so first of all, I want to kind of show you some of this. Uh, this is more or less what NinjaTech recommends right here. So you're going to see we have a, our extruder temperature from 225 to 235, our room temperature at 40, uh, and you're going to see this part down here where we have the top and bottom layers and the infill speeds. Well, to get to some of these things that we're going to need, we're going to have to go over here to our material, and you're going to notice over here, if you don't have all of these little settings, you can click on this, and this will bring up a lot more windows of things you can actually get. So we're going to select some of these things. Uh, first of all, we're going to kind of set ours to 225 initially. We're going to try that out, see if that works. Uh, we might end up bumping that to 235, but we got it at 225. We got our uh, final, uh, sorry, our build plate temperature is set to 40. But the part I want to draw your attention to is more or less this print speed. And this is the part we've got to, to play a role in. You're going to see our top and bottom layers are going to be 10 to 20 millimeters. We're also going to have our infill speeds 15 to 35. I'm going to kind of set these at the minimum right off the bat. It might take a little bit longer, but when we're printing with TPU, we're going to expect a longer print anyway. So you're going to see I kind of set my print speed to 15. And I've, again, on this part, if you don't see these options, because I think initially you're just going to print speed, travel speed, some basic things like that. What I've ended up doing is I've selected this and I've gone through on speed. I've added all sorts of things on our speed so we can kind of really adjust these things. So you're going to see my print speed set to 15, my infill and wall speeds also set to 15. And down here, my top and bottom speed, I'm just using what the recommendation was where I set it to 10 millimeters uh, per second. My travel speed, I kick this down. This is usually set it to 100. I move this down to 15 as well. Uh, my initial speeds going with the top bottom layers, I'm setting those to 10 as well. And you're going to see my, my travel speeds never really that fast. Now the other thing is, what you're going to want to do is you also want to take uh, your retraction off. And the retraction kind of helps because what that does is it kind of pulls the filament back up into the extruder. Uh, especially when it does gaps to kind of prevent the little stringiness. But uh, one of the recommendations, especially when you're printing with TPU, is to get rid of retraction. So uh, as a default, you kind of have to click on this to actually get this to show up. You're going to see I allowed uh, enable retraction to be seen. So once I have that set, I actually move this off. So I've disabled uh, retraction. Now this shoe over here, this is Samuel Lopez's shoe. So uh, we're going to kind of use his shoe as, as the guinea pig right there. And you're going to see like once we have this set up, it's going to take a while to print the shoe, but hopefully we get a good quality shoe when we're done. 